and welcome back to my channel it is your girl jasmine destine back with another nail diy video i have this christmas set on that i've had on for about three and a half weeks now and i was getting tired of the plaid girl and i wanted to cut my nails down to make them a short set so we're doing a fill in today and this is the little pink short set that i did on my nails and can you guys believe that this is actually a fill in on some a prey soft gel nails so if you guys want to see how i did that then make sure you keep watching Okay, so we're first gonna start out with pushing our cuticles back. This is gonna allow us to see how much new growth we've had on our nails. This set, I had no lifting on, so I was actually able to go in and give myself the perfect fill-in on these um, Apre Soft Gel X nails. So yeah, I'm taking my little cuticle pusher, pushing my cuticles back, and then I'm gonna go in with my handheld e-file. Um, and I first thought I was gonna use this first set of nail bits, but then I went into my standard sanding band on the lowest setting, and I'm just starting off by first buffing the edge of the soft gel nail that's on my nail. So we're first just gonna buff away the edge so that we can kind of create a smoother transition. And then I was like, hold on, wait a minute, I need to cut the nails down because I'm not about to buff this whole nail, the top of the nail, if I plan on doing a short set. You guys, I'm still like an amateur myself. I'm really not a professional. You guys know this, I'm a, just a DIY queen. So sometimes I do my little steps out of order <laughs> and this is one of them. But you wanna make sure you go in and you cut the nails down if you still have a long, a long set on and you wanna make it a short set. Do that first so that you have less uh, buffing and sanding to do obviously. So I did that and then I'm going back in with my sanding band and I think I bumped up the speed like a little bit to like more of like a medium speed and I just went in and I buffed that um, all of the nail polish off, all of the gel polish that I had. So the clear coat and then the colors obviously because we're giving yourselves a fresh new set. So you want to do that for every single nail. And I took my time to do this because if you're not experienced with the handheld e-file, it can be a bit intimidating. Um, I've definitely gotten comfortable using it and I've gotten used to using it because I've used it so many times now. I think I've had this for like over a year or so. Honey, I'm pretty comfortable with this, but if you guys are beginners, that's fine. Just use it on the lowest setting and make sure that when you're buffing your nail, you're not buffing in the same spot for too long. You wanna constantly be moving your buffer across your nail because once you keep it in one spot for too long, you'll start to feel pain or heat. And that means that you're you're doing too much in one spot so you're gonna hurt yourself. Don't do that. You're gonna create a hole or something. Just make sure you're constantly moving the buffer across your nail, circular motions, back and forth, up and down you just want to make sure that you're constantly moving it um, and again I started off on the lowest setting and then I when I got comfortable I bumped it up then I'm gonna go in with my cuticle cutters and any part of the nail that I see once I buff away the color obviously on the nail I can see the actual soft gel nail and where I may have had like some air pockets or some lifting that was about to occur you know it's about to lift but it didn't lift yet because i remember i told you i had these on for like three and a half weeks so it was getting to the point where i was like they were gonna start to pop off if i didn't do this set and if i didn't give myself a fill in but i was like you know what i want to salvage these because they still look really good they actually the shape of them was still perfect i didn't really have any of them that like messed up and again i had no lifting so any areas on the outer edge of the soft gel nail that you see are about to lift or may even have lifted for you it's fine you just go in with your cuticle cutter once you're finished like buffing down as low as possible so that it blends with your natural nail you're gonna go, go ahead and cut it away so you guys just see me kind of like showing you in regular time me doing this on my thumb and then I'm going in and I'm also just cutting away any dead skin along my cuticles um, this literally is so important. I saw a TikTok of a girl praising her nail tech for actually cutting away her cuticles, like her dead skin on her cuticles, and I was like, dang, they don't do that in the nail salon no more. This is why I do my own nails, because I've had that happen to me like once or twice, and I got, I was annoyed, because I'm like, there's no way I'm spending $60, $70 on a nail set and you're not going to cut my cuticles. 
but now I do my own set so that's not even an issue but make sure you guys are cutting away them cuticles because it makes your nails look so much cleaner like it makes them look so much cleaner and it also helps with the longevity of your sets so there's that I switched over to this um sanding band this cylinder shaped metal sanding band i don't know the technical term for it because again i'm not a professional but um i know that you can use this for under the nail you can use this for on top of the nail this is great for the cuticle area because the top of it actually um doesn't buff away so it's just the sides of it so i just quickly used this and went over my cuticle area again and then i also used it to um really like sharpen and straighten up the edge on the ends of all of my nails this was really good for that especially at a higher speed it was cutting it down in like no time like real quick and then I just went in with my nail file and straightened it out because it was a little crooked and you know I'm very particular I like very I want my nails to be perfect like I feel like I look at my hands so much I use my hands so much but I really do be looking at my nails all the time like my eye will catch my nails and if my nails look janky like it bothers me I can't my OCD will like literally not allow me to function so that's kind of another reason why I started doing my own nail sets just because I wanted them to come out exactly how I want them so honey this is what they was looking like after I cut down and buffed everything and then shaped them you can see on my index finger on one of my hands that I had to cut down most of the nail because I actually had some like lifting and just air that was there and if I would have encapsulated that with more product I could have had like an issue later on like fungus growing whatnot so made sure to cut that down and then I'm going in with my nail dehydrator from my gelish kit and I'm applying this to all of my nails you want to apply a dehydrator and then you're gonna go in with your nail primer I'm using the Apre acid free gel primer and I'm applying a single layer of this to the entire nail my nail prep is really the reason why my nail sets last so long, why I have no lifting, why there's no damage to my natural nail. I genuinely feel like my nail prep is the reason why my sets just be popping off. Like they be bomb, okay? Period. So then I'm going in with this foundation from the Gelish Kit. Everything I use will be linked in the description box down below. They'll all be affiliate links, just letting you guys know. But I literally use this Gelish Kit in every single video, and I say that in every single video. It's kind of like my little mantra now, but like literally they need to sponsor me. Like Gelish, reach out to your girl because I've used this in like literally every single video. Like every single nail video. So single layer of the foundation and because we did such a great job at buffing the nail down the soft gel nail like literally down to a point where the thickness of it is perfect when we're applying this foundation you can see how seamless it is there's no like bump you can't really tell where the fake nail and my nail stops like this literally looks like my nails grew out and i've just been doing like a nice little clear top coat on them and they look healthy like I really like it I honestly wanted to leave it clear but then I was like no I already had a plan to do pink so we just gonna do that but like it was giving my natural nails it was giving very cute and this length is very doable for me I love the long sets I'm never not gonna like love long dramatic crazy claws but for functionality like i gotta give you guys these videos i gotta write these emails i gotta clean i gotta cook i gotta do a lot of stuff and you know it makes it a little harder when your nails is extra 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 long so i definitely love the short sets for functionality and they're just so cute and they're feminine and i love it so yeah um going in with the extend gel from a prey so this is the this is basically like builder gel in a nail polish bottle it makes using builder gel so much easier because we're obviously more comfortable maneuvering and handling like a nail a nail polish bottle as opposed to like a brush and it coming out of a pot if that makes sense so i honestly really really love this stuff it's very easy it's soak off um if you ever want to take it off your nails it literally comes off with acetone you just have to soak your nails in acetone um so i'm just showing you guys that i'm doing basically like a single layer of this i'm making sure to apply the most of it 
towards my cuticle which is where you know we want the the product to be nice and thick we want a nice apex we want it to blend obviously but honestly there's no issue with blending at this point because we did all of the leg work when we were buffing and shaping the nail and honestly yeah it just looks great like let's just get into it okay just get into it because I was like wow I really snapped like for a DIY queen I snapped period so yeah I'm applying most of it towards the cuticle and then you kind of just drag it down and this product like you can flip your hand upside down if you feel like it's uneven and it'll level itself out like literally it's so bomb it's great love it and they have it in multiple colors I just like the clear obviously because you can do any color with clear and it just makes everything easier so that is what it looks like these are my nails um, and then I'm gonna go in with these two gel polish colors from McCart. I honestly I got my toes done earlier this day and I have the cutest baby pink on my toes and I was like I was about to do the peach color because I thought it was more pink but then when I brought it on camera I was like uh-uh this is peach I can't have peach on my fingers and then pink on my toes like it's just not gonna it was not gonna do it for me so I actually ended up mixing them too because I'm extra as hell I know like just go out and buy a baby pink y'all don't do what I did I didn't have it was like nine o'clock at night and obviously I couldn't go to the store so I was like you know what I'm gonna just mix these two colors like I'm that anal so I went ahead and I mixed those two gel polish colors and I'm just gonna paint all of them on my nails obviously I'm gonna do two coats so it's nice and opaque and I'll just let you guys watch that because I've been running my mouth for like the last 10 minutes so you know But seriously, you guys, this was the simplest fill-in I've ever done. I've done fill-ins on poly gel. I've done fill-ins on acrylic before. I've done fill-ins on builder gel. The a the Apre like soft gel nails are honestly my favorite because they already come shaped and they're the shape that I want. So the fact that I was able to do a fill-in on the perfect nail shape and it still look perfect three and a half weeks later like I was just I was mind blown I was like this is gonna be my new favorite thing like honestly why why like why would I do anything else I'm just gonna keep doing fill-ins on these nails until like my nail grows out maybe underneath and it looks exactly the same. I don't even know but like I'm obsessed uh, and I just had to mix more obviously because I ran out I didn't mix enough it's fine it was like half like it was both equal parts of the peach and the pink because the pink was like a bubblegum pink and it was too pink and then the peach was obviously like a muted peach so I just added the pink to the peach and it made the perfect baby pink color like the perfect pastel -y baby pink and it matches my toes and it's so cute honestly obsessed So that is what my nails look like that's two coats on every single finger and i love it i love the shape um this is what the underside of my nails look like because you guys are always asking i cleaned it up it looks real clean under there nothing crazy and this is both hands done and now we're gonna go in with our top coat from Jellish to top it off and I'm gonna do a single layer of top coat and this is just when everything comes together like literally top coat makes everything look good like if you ever feel like eh about your nail design girl put a layer of like top coat on and it comes to life and then at that point it's just like okay it looks good it looks great I'm here for it I'm loving it You're gonna cure for 30 seconds, and then I'm gonna repeat the same process on my thumb. Mm -hmm. 
and then taking a little cotton pad and some alcohol I'm just gonna clean off the sticky layer on my nails after the top coat and then I'm gonna go in with the gelish kits nourishing cuticle oil and be very generous with this and apply it to my cuticle area I absolutely love using this stuff and then I also wanted to start incorporating using a hand cream into my little nail regimen I always put hand cream on anyway but I just want to show you guys, give myself a nice little massage. Honestly, I think going to the nail salon earlier that day really inspired this because I had the most, like, the most amazing massage on my feet when I got my pedicure done. So I'm just applying my Cura CBD hand cream. It smells just like the one at the nail salon. And this is my completed set. Oh my god, it looks so cute. It looks so good. I'm so proud of myself. I can't believe that this was a fill-in on a three and a half week old set. Like, I still can't believe that. It looks like a fresh set. It looks brand new. I'm obsessed. Like, I think this was my favorite set yet, and it's so simple. And I know I say that all the time, but seriously, I'm obsessed. Like, I love this so much. If you guys enjoyed this video, then make sure you hit that subscribe button down below. Turn on your post notifications. Don't forget to click the like button. Give this huge video a huge like down below don't forget you are smart you are beautiful and people love you i love you and i can't wait to see you on my next upload bye